Lord Jesus Christ, my dear brother and my sister, I want to share a message that I received from the Lord. And in my vision, I saw the heaven opened and I saw something that was very uh, something that was very shocking indeed at the skies. And I saw something opening like the glory of God was descending. Then the stars were, were moving very quickly and very fasting like they were going to fall. Even the sun itself was running very quickly. Then in the skies, I saw something that appeared there. And I saw something that, that, that thing that appears during the movie that goes the, like this. Five, three, two, two, one. That thing that goes through the movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Then the movie starts. That is how I saw. After that, I saw some that, that thing. And I saw that that thing for sure. He's saying that something indeed is coming to happen. And I saw that Jesus Christ was coming. And I, I was made to know that Jesus Christ, look, Jesus Christ is coming. There is no time. It was re less than one minute. Less than one minute. And I was made to know that it is time now to pray, to repent and to be ready. Because Jesus Christ, the Messiah, was coming very soon. And I want to read the word of God, which is saying in the book of in the book of First uh, First Peter chapter four verse seven that like this: the end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-control, so that you can pray, my dear brother and my sister. The word of God Almighty, Holy One of Israel, is saying that the end of all things is near. Therefore, be sober, be clear-minded, so that you may be able to pray, and even so that you may be able to uh, to stand in this hour, because Jesus Christ is coming. And there is no time that is left. The time is which is left, I saw in the spirit, was was less than one minute, meaning Jesus Christ to come. And this is why God is saying that it's time now to wake up as Christian to watch out for these end times because Jesus Christ is coming very soon. And there is no time uh, uh, which which is left. Now God is saying the end of all, of all things is near. The end of every evil, the end of every human, the end of every things that we see in our eyes. The end of trees, the end of this world is near. So my dear brother and my sister, be careful, be careful. Now God is calling for our now waking to the church of God to be careful because Jesus Christ the Messiah is coming very soon. Now the God is saying that time is indeed uh, time is indeed over. And what God is saying is it is shorter than one minute. Shorter than one minute in the spirit. I don't know this shorter than one minute how it means in the spirit. But what it means is this. Jesus Christ the Messiah is coming very soon and this is why God is continuing to say that the time that he has given us the, 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 that uh, that one minute which is less than one minute the one the less than one minute that God has given us it is for us to prepare it is for us to be ready to repent and to be, to be made spotless for that day because Jesus Christ is coming that time means repentance that times means spotless that times mean now to be restored with God to come back to the faithfulness to come back to the obedience to come back to the word of God to come back to holiness so that we may see the kingdom of God. My dear brother and my sister, the end of the, the end of all things is near. The end of wickedness, the end of this earth, the end of the kings of the world, it is here, it is near, even at the door. And the kingdom of God is near. Therefore, it is time to repent and to turn away from sin, to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in holiness and in righteousness, so that we may see the kingdom of God. When I finish, I come, I will read in the book of Second Peter. Second Peter verse 3 verse 9 which says this the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come into repentance God is saying here that God is not slow concerning his concerning his promise but God is slow not wishing anyone of of, of person to, rep, uh, to to perish but all people to come into repentance my dear brother and my sister the hour that God has given us. It is the hour of repentance. It is the hour to turn away from sin. This is why God is saying that he don't wish any or any of person to perish. He is not pleased when people are perishing. He is not pleased when Christians are falling, are falling from, are from falling. He is not pleased when people are falling in hell. What God does, he gives us time and this is time that I saw God giving us there were less than one minute. That was the time that I saw. Tell me my dear and my brother and my sisters. One minute, less than one minute. 
Tell me, how can you repent in less than one minute? How can you repent in less than one minute? And that was the time that I saw that God was giving us that we may repent. Now, let us repent because less than one minute is the hour that God has given us. Meaning, they are, it is only the grace of God so that we may repent. And God is saying, the hour God has given us, my dear brother and my sister, is that for us may repent and come back to him and stand when in righteousness. Do what God has commanded you. Preach the gospel less than one minute. Preach the gospel. Pray less than this one minute. Because this is the only hour, the only minute, the only thing that God has given us. So my dear brother and my sister, this is what God is saying. That the end of all things is near. Then God is saying that God is slow concerning his promise. Not it, he, do, he doesn't mean that he, he, he don't fulfill his promise. But God is doing this so that he may give us time. Now God has given us less than one minute in the spirit so that you may repent, so that you may stop every form of wickedness, so that you may be right with God, so that we may see the kingdom of God. My dear brother and my sister, when you read the word of God, even, even there in uh, verse 11, God is saying, since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? Look, you ought to live a holy God life as you look forward to the day of God and speed is coming. Now God is saying, since you are people who are looking forward to the day of God. Then you want to be ready to live a holy life, waiting for Jesus Christ. And this is what God is saying. So then, dear friend, since you are looking forward to this to this day, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, at, uh, and and at peace with Him. See, since we are looking forward to that glorious day of our Lord Jesus Christ, be spotless, be ready. Be, uh, uh, God is saying this that you must you must do effort, do effort to live in spot in holy. Do effort to, be, to make yourself blameless. Do effort, my dear brother and my sister. Since you are looking for the coming of the Messiah, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, therefore God is saying, be, do effort to live in holiness. Do effort to live in blameless so that you may see the coming kingdom of God and you may see the glory of God. Jesus is saying this. This, that his kingdom is very near and Jesus Christ is coming to take a holy bride, to take people who have separated themselves from sin. God, Jesus Christ, is coming for spotless bride, blameless bride, and a bride who is glorious in holiness in and out. So, my dear brother, my sister, we have less than one minute in the spirit to preach the gospel, to prepare, to repent, and to come back to Jesus. Because I see Jesus Christ coming, I see him coming very soon to take his glorious bride. My dear brother, my sister, let us prepare for the coming of the Messiah because Jesus Christ is coming. Go and share the message of God to the whole nation because we have more than, uh, uh, less than one minute to preach this gospel that says the Lord God Almighty. Jesus Christ is coming. The end of, uh, of the world is near. The end of all things is near. The end of wickedness. The end of this world like Sodom is very near. And the judgment, the judgment of God is coming. The kingdom of God is near. Therefore let us repent, repent and come back to holiness so that we may see the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Repent, repent for the, so that we may see the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is coming. Make yourself ready. Make yourself ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is at